Hello, Miss Phelps and Miss Henley's class. How are y'all doing? Yeah, did we have a good snow day? Did anybody build a snowman? Did anybody have a snowball fight? Did anybody build a snow fort? All right. Well, today for our reader, we have shapes on the farm. This is another book from Madison Avenue's Fine Library, Shapes on the Farm by Jenny Fretland Van Voorst. Well, wow, that's a name. All right. This book has a table of contents. That shows us what page we can find the chapters on. So they're easy for us to go look up the different parts of the book if we look at the table of contents. Farm shapes. A farm is full of shapes. How many can you find? Hmm, I see a circle. Does anybody see a rectangle? Yeah, a lot of those, right? Or y'all just sitting there quietly? I don't know. Okay. Katie visits Nana's farm. Look! The fields are squares and rectangles. Wow, she can see them because she's flying in the airplane. Wow. Look at the barn. It is painted with shapes. Red diamonds, white triangles. Do you see the diamonds and the triangles? What shape is the door? It is a rectangle. The goats stand in a square. <laughs> How did they get up there? Hmm. Grandpa drives a tractor. Each wheel is a circle. Did you ever ride on a tractor? Hmm. Katie picks berries. She puts them in a basket. The opening is a circle. Hmm. Farm fresh strawberries. Those look delicious. Hmm. Nana made cheese. She used her cow's milk. We make cheese from milk. Well, I say we, I have never made cheese, but some people do. I buy cheese. She cuts Kate a triangle. Yum! That's a big old hunk of cheese there. Mm. This sign is a triangle too. Watch out for sheep! Hmm, I don't ever really see signs that say watch out for sheep. Maybe if I went to Kansas. Grandpa draws Kate a picture. What shape is it? Yeah? Uh -huh. What does it mean? 
Yes, it's the heart. And it is the symbol of love. A symbol is something we use to represent an idea. More shapes on the farm. This is a special shape called a horseshoe. It doesn't close on the bottom. Um, what else is in the shape of a horseshoe? A rainbow. A rainbow is in the shape of a horseshoe. What shape is an egg? It's not really a circle. It's an oval. What shape is this? It's a star. And what shape is this haystack in? Yeah, it's a circle. Oh, it gave us a picture glossary to tell us about the different things we saw in the book. Hmm. Barn. A building used for storing farm equipment and housing farm animals. Goat. A hoofed mammal with horns that is often raised for milk or meat. We don't eat a lot of goats in Mississippi, do we? But when I lived in Texas, we ate a lot of goat meat. Hmm. Farm, a piece of land used for growing crops or raising livestock. Some farms do both, but it can be a farm that just does one, raising crops, like vegetables and fruit, or raising livestock, like goats and cows and chickens and pigs and horses, sheep. Hmm, what other animals? Hmm. Tractor. A vehicle with large rear wheels that is used for pulling farm equipment. Hmm. A lot of times tractors are green and I see some red tractors. I don't think I ever saw a blue tractor like that. That's pretty cool. Tractor wheels are such big circles I think they make the best tire swings. You know what a tire swing is? When you take a tire and hang it by a chain or a rope from the tree. When I grew up out in the country, we would swing on tire swings and the one with the tractor wheel was the most fun. And here is the index. You can look up a word and it tells you what page you can find it on. Maybe you're thinking, I want to look at the cheese again. You would look in the index and go down and then see the word cheese, page 16. Oh, I can turn back and look at the numbers on the bottom of the page and find page 16. Hmm. There it is, cheese. And then it gives us some references on how we can learn more about farms. It gives us some good pointers to how to search on the internet. And it tells us a website called factsurfer.com. Maybe I'll try it out. Well, thank you for letting me read to you. I hope you all have a wonderful day. That you listen to Miss Feltz. That you learn a lot. And, well, I guess that's about it. See you all later. Bye.